This uh, D9, uh, this is a T-model D9 that's here in a placer mine in interior Alaska. And you're listening to John Howe narrating this. I'm the owner of Howie's Machine Shop. And I'm also going to be working with the uh, ArcticMiners.org. It's a association that's putting on a placer mining conference this uh, spring in March and uh, you can go to their website and there will be a short course on placer mining there describing placer mining in a little bit more industrial detail than what most people end up uh, doing that are just prospecting. To feed this plant that's uh, here, and this was built by Howie's Machine Shop, they're using an excavator. If a uh, little bit more funds were available to outfit a mine, a person could use various types of feeders that make it a little more efficient. But uh, an excavator is an all-around machine that you can buy off the shelf and will give you a relatively consistent feed. Inside the trommel, you can see the material getting washed. Uh, see a fairly fair size little rock coming in. This uh, trommel can take four foot rocks, so there's quite a bit larger rocks that are available to uh, be fed through it. Down here at the discharge bars where the material is getting sprayed off is the final wash after it's mixed. The pre-mixing is done so that you can use less water for segregating your material. And in this particular plant we have a 40 foot long discharge conveyor that's 5 foot wide for taking off the oversize. You can see the 966 here. Uh, scooping out and dumping the large tailings away. The water for the uh, plant is supplied by a uh, six-inch pump. This particular one's got a Cummins engine. Uh, we've put it together on a skid and set it up, sent it out with the mining plant. You can see the six-foot wide sluice box discharging here. Um, all of this is going on next to a full creek uh, bypass so that none of this is going into the creek itself. And here's some of the gold cleaned up from this mine. They had a much larger cleanup before this, but I didn't get any pictures of this. But uh, just after this, you'll see some pictures of uh, a little bit larger nugget that a friend of mine had got years ago. And also there's uh, a full layout of the gold that he had gotten over the last season before he unfortunately passed away. And the uh, last little picture here is from a mining venture that I was in years ago when I was naive enough to try mining without knowing as much as I know today. And the small amount of uh, gold that I'm holding up was all I had to show for it. The uh, conference that's being offered is uh, in Fairbanks, Alaska. Again, that is arcticminers.org. A R C T I C minors.org and if you click on their 2010 conference then from there you can look for short courses come into the conference um, like I say I will be there and uh, if you want any equipment built of course that's my main business is building custom equipment I gold mined for five years but uh, now I just build equipment